YouTube. Welcome back to another video, baby. I ain't switch up. I'm sorry. Um. Anyway, we got when the Mappa animators got dragged back into the studio to finish the Sukuna versus Maharaga fight, which is facts, by the way. Um. If you haven't seen, that's the Blu-ray edition. Um. They got dragged back just to make some fire. I ain't watched the fight personally. The anime's all I needed, but I'm pretty sure it's great. Um, this is by Codename Super. Please check out the original video down in the description below. And also, subscribe, like, comment, share. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hit 10K. Um, run it up. You know what I'm saying? Please help me. Thank you very much. Uh, and um, this is something else, I think. Nah, we're gonna get into the video. Oh, nah. After those long months of not seeing their families, the MAPPA animators really thought they were free. They started walking out the building, smiling, cheesing, thought they were finally about to see their families. But the higher <laughs> nah, said, nah, where you going? We still got this DLC to drop, drag them right back in. And then from that pure anguish and pain, they created oh, yeah. the final product. So let's get into it. So yeah, at this point, Megumi was going through it. His dad just offed himself like five minutes before, and then he gets third party by Haruta. What's Megumi good? wasn't gonna let that happen though. He was just if like, I'm if I'm dying, dying you, you dying, dying with, with me. me. Summons him. That boy Maharaga looked like he got packed up by Spider-Man. And this is exactly how Batman would look if he ran into Spider-Man on the street. But y'all not ready for that conversation. Maharaga got my boy looking petrified and he didn't even fully load in yet. After hitting the summon in the cold poles, he gets in his last words. He just like, fuck your third party. Nah, he really didn't have to do him like that, bro. He went from having a cold moment to this. Damn, I guess this is God, a full look at that. Oh, and the roots have front row tickets back. to see all that, and now he's on the brink of tears. Cause he knows his ass is next. Raga starts to oh, walk yeah. down. Footsteps sound like Rod Way sneaking yeah. in the kitchen for him. Uh Rod Way, but you got Caso up there. He's shaking the planet right now as we speak. I mean come on. I, I don't know what <laughs> what you think this is, but Bro about to get folded by Maharaga. First off, I'm just going ahead and spoil you there. If you ain't seen it already. I mean, you ain't even got to watch this video. Midnight okay. snack. My bad, let me show Survival up. instincts on straight zero. Like, he took two steps back and fell. Yeah, his ass didn't stand a chance. Haruta was seeing his life flash before his eyes, and that shit had me ecstatic. I was watching my screen like I was yes. planking. Bro turned to Megami telling him to get up. But looking at nah, him, he's clearly not he's getting good. up anytime yeah, soon. Dude. Shit looks like he got quick scoped right in the head. Raga throws the arm, and this right here is when Tsukuna gives more attention to Megami than his own father. Bro pulls up and he's just like, son, what'd they do to you? And by saving Naruto, he saves Megami's life too. He didn't even know Megami for that long, and he's already up 30 as the father who stepped up. Toji really That's a piece crazy. of shit. Box throwing and asked if he got drafted into the league. Homie said nah and decided it was better to go to an infinite Michael Jackson concert. That bar to do better than Toji was very low ship was in hell. Tsukuna starts walking up to Maharaga with his hands in his pockets like he's Darvin' him, and they stand off against each other. Maharaga starts it off by showing us he got the Optimus Prime attachment in his inventory. Swings at him, but Tsukuna blocks him. Maharaga didn't like that, so he tries completely crushing him, and he gets hit with the right hook, and that got his stupid ass leaning. He puts his two fingers out like he hit in the Itachi, and then he slices him. After that, he lands, he has a little he, has he gets counted. Sending them both into the buildings, and they come back out like it's a walkout for a boxing match. Hey, it makes sense. That boy Tsukuna a shell. Tsukuna he be cooking up with the bev and popcorn, and Maharaga walks out like the heavy character he is. Sugana didn't like that his swag was being tested, so he immediately attacks him. And Maharaga really don't be letting shit slide because within the next second, he's dragging Sugana through the buildings like Broly. And I really need a replay <laughs> on this, cause that boy Maharaga was moving at Mach a million to get into that building. Like really watch him zoom across the screen. God, hey. Bruh. That shit is insanity. Maharaga yeets Sugana into the other building and oh yeah, Goku might have some competition for who likes fighting the most. When Goku be in a fight, the most he'll do is like a little smirk, but him? Nah, he's full on ear to ear grinning. Maharaga flies at him, and I don't know what's like going on. The fact that he's doing backflips all vertical, or that Maharaga is swimming on concrete full form. He's out here doing butterflies on that Michael Phelps timing. He tries to hit him with a heavy attack, but Sukuna lands the kick. Oh my lord. He grabs him and look at him again with that devious ass smile. It makes sense now. Sukuna put the map of workers back to He put him back to work. He said that fight wasn't good enough. I need their own DLC Blu ray. 
you know he plotting something. He turns his arm into Slice Malonga, and he was just like, you know what? Give me that leg too. Then he hits him with that E.D. Osama screen. Way back. He recovers by landing on the building like Spider-Man. But you know Maharaka got that Hall of Fame chase down. So within literal seconds, he's right back on him, pushing him down. And Sukuna is just cheesing. And since he wants to do it so much, we just gonna have to put a counter on, bro. He had three right now since the start of the fight. And what type of unorthodox attack is Maharaka pulling? He got his hand on his leg and he's pressing down. This shit is not boxing. This ain't why we watch. Tsukuna kicks him into the building yeah. and goes to swing at him. But Raga stops it by clashing punches, making the scene look like it came straight out of Dragon Ball. They drop down. This man is crazy. Maharaga really gets sauced there because he throws some punches Yo. and tries to sneak in a blade. And I never seen a character get their blade blocked with fingers and still cook up. So that's how I knew Maharaga was going to lose this. <laughs> he throws 400 more punches like we didn't see him trying to sneak that blade in and gets all 400 perfect hair. And as if that wasn't Yamcha level sorry enough, he gets hit with a bloody backhand that sends him floating. Oh my god looking like this. Sukuna pulls out an elevator, ties him up, and yeets him into the building across. And yeah, don't think I don't see that. That's number five. And bro, this that one, this is getting worse. About, Maharaga picks up a car, and I can't imagine working a 9 to 5 in Jibuya. Because if my car gets tossed like that just to do no damage, I'm sick to my stomach. Because there's really just no point. You knew it wasn't going to work. You're just doing it because you can. And guess what? Sukuna no. takes it right Why not? Back to him. And instead, he's the one that gets hurt. That's what his dumb ass gets. But let's really talk about it. Characters that just be relying on regeneration or being damn near immortal be having the weakest bags for real. You know they always gonna have zero evasive skills. Y'all seen Zamatsu in the Goku Black art? Anytime anyone threw an attack at him, it always connects. He was just and don't get me started on Boom. Skillless, talentless. Take his regeneration from him and he a lifetime bubblegum mascot. He wouldn't ever square up again. Look at Goku using him as a paddle ball. Maharaga fixes himself and sends Sukuna flying through buildings. Not gonna lie, Maharaga might be for the people. He about to make rent as much as a biggie bag after he's done with this city. Five dollars a month. Sukuna lands in the building though. And as you can see, there's civilians here who are clearly not seeing tomorrow. Maharaga breaks through trap buildings. No, 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 as no, no. you can see, there's Look at their faces. Why is there a girl in a maid outfit? What was he doing? Hey, bro. There's civilians here who are clearly not seeing tomorrow. Maharaga breaks through, tries to hit him, but he weaves it. And you expect his first counterattack to be on Maharaga. But no, nah, he goes after straight civilians, boost his KD, and then he moves on to attack Maharaga. He booms the whole Man. building, and then we see Maharaga laid out on the floor. Shit looking like a whole murder scene. But he gets right back up and tries to grab him. But he not touching him. He's stamped in Weave Nation. He dodges his other attack. And something about this is very suspect. Because smiling while letting your throat do the work is hey, very yo. unusual. Might be just as suspect as having a throat tattoo that says one of one. Because what do you mean by that? After showing that he was data really one of one. You see that Rockley's influence is really generational. Because he hits him with the intro to the Lotus. Sending him flying up. And then he punches him into the other building. Oh He's in there like he about to do the meanest 200 meter dash. But then he gets up and starts foaming out the mouth. And I cannot lie. This is where they really started to lose me. Because he hits him with this attack while hitting the Vogue pose. And then a second later, he's just on this cube. Spread eagle. Flying into the air. And Maharag is chasing him down like he's on a mission. You would really think the way he's moving, Tsukuna's about to get his shit folded. But nah, instead, Sukuna flips it on him and ends up tossing him. And look at this, smile number nine. Yeah, at this point, his only comfort who smiles the most is the Joker and fucking Chip Skylark. Those the big three. He goes up to him, kicks him out the way, and then this man grabs the crane hook like Tarzan and just kicks him down. How do you get work like that? And I'm not gonna lie, the shit that happens next makes even less sense to me. Maharaga gets up and tries to grab Sukuna, but somehow he's just all strung up. Like, when did this shit even happen? He just touched the ground two seconds ago. And do my eyes deceive me? There's no way you're telling me he's getting held up by these low ass strings. Megumi done pump fake this shit for two seasons just for bro to get held up by dental floss. This is crazy. I'm going. Animation so good. I forgot Maharaga's stats was three hits, 10 cars thrown, and 80 buildings destroyed. He really not doing shit for real. The city is still crumbling, and just like the Avengers, they don't give two shits about it. Sure so he chases down Maharaga, and he breaks the piece of the building. And he finally starts showing some IQ, shows that that head is not for decoration he uses the rubble as cover and breaks through it to hit him with a surprise attack and he must have ate a mario mushroom too because he's three times the size he was before just look at this Huge. man's fist it's damn near the same size as sukuna he hits him with the oversized right hook into the train combo and this is the first and last 
Where did the train come from? Hey, bro, they were just throwing objects. Some shit like this, I promise you. He breaks out the train, <laughs> turning it into a measuring tape, and Maharaga's behind him trying to sneak a kick. Sukuna side eyes the attack, acting like it's gonna okay. be light work. But the second he came into contact, he realized it was nothing to play with. Okay, it's got a little kick. Ooh. He gets sent flying, and that shit has him happy as hell, talking about some. This is why we play. No matter how he's at ten me, smiles. Never tell me, and I'd love for the game. Maharaja takes another train gets car, gets sicker, and, in sicker. Like and holds it up more with psychotic. this big ass grin. Shit reminds me of Venom, but with nicer teeth. Bro went to his dental appointments. I respect it. He tosses him into the building, and I really don't know why because he's zero and two enclosed spaces. He got blocked four hundred times, got dropped, and now he's getting styled on because he tries to stomp him out like a goomba, but he majestically flips <laughs> away. Bunny hopping into another flip, and he lands that bitch like an Olympic ice skater. And even though he got a shadow over his face, we can still see him smiling. Brody got VVSs on his teeth. The attack cuts the building in half, Bro, and we see Maharaga holding something like an action figure, and that's something this you don't want to do. Crazy. He cuts his arm and legs, causing Maharaga to hit the Willow Smith and regenerate. Sukun is just like, I right, bet I got something for you and hits him with what looks like a finishing cutscene where he took his arms, legs, and head. Got him looking like one of those headless mannequins and it's really at and this point where nothing. that extra Blu-ray DLC is hitting. It's like they put up the whiteboard and just put one bullet point and it said hands because the second Sukuna smacks the arm out the way, Maharaga goes up to him like, hey, that was real disrespectful. And you cannot lie, it was. He got his whole arm bending backwards for the backhand. That's how you know he was truly disgusted. Sukuna just like, fuck you gonna do about it. He not afraid yeah. of a dude with a pirate ship steering wheel over his head. Luffy wants his shit back. They did all this standoff shit for no one to get a single hit in. Sukuna had to make sure he got something out of it though as he jumps away to show off his sneaks. We aren't impressed though because those are some shitty kicks. So I'm gonna need you to get those shits off the screen and go back to boxing. Maharaga gets his body slashed. What and is this dude? And flies at him with the upper half of his body and Mr. Super, what did his kicks do? <laughs> kicks just caught astray. That's crazy. Punches him with his arm severed. Sends him flying with the a just, brain the and, just and this time he hits him with his left hand and a severed head, causing what? him to spin out of control. And now he's just chasing him down head only. Bro, this cannot be fair. How much more does he have to do? My Maharaga, what's your issue? What's the damage? What do you have going on, buddy? What what's your problem? <laughs> what is your problem? You're chasing him down with your body hand. back, causing Sukuna to be in a critical position. And I would really be Bro's punching my fist here because there's He's no way I chopped Bro three separate times to be in this position. He leaves the attack though what and is? lands with his hand out. Don't be fooled though because this was really one of those tactics. Couldn't let Maharaga know his next move because in the next frame, Bro says he straight up air bending and turning this man into straight scribbles. Sukuna starts smiling and hits him with a pump fake. Got his ass blocking and cowering. You know what smile we're on? You know he feeling the damage when he got that please don't hurt me ass stance. Sukuna flips over him and that boy Raga is straight up lagging. Got him looking goofy. You would think that he's hitting a speed bag. Sukuna makes his body paint the wall red though. So you know Maharaga had to try to get back. Notice how I said try though. Because he comes back and gets absolutely worked. Maharaga swings and Sukuna oui. ducks. Then he jumps up causing Maharaga to block high. And he Fight. knows he got him right where he wants him. Slashes the torso. Maharaga charges up this crazy swing though. You can't even see any of his arm. All that shit for nothing though. Because oui? Sukuna weaves it. Slashes his torso. What is around this? does it again. Then he goes up to hang off the steering wheel to make a skate for a poster. I'm convinced. Hey, gay gay. Are you in love with Sukuna or something? I'm done. Like, <laughs> You got Maharaga over here getting worked. He's getting worked. Why? <laughs> Why? What, what did he do? Bro, what did he do to deserve this? Like, I... Hey, man. Hey. And at this point, I'm already knowing those out in the studio animating anything. Because no way Sukun is hitting the Michael Jackson emote gliding across the screen. While Maharaga's out there lagging and shadow boxing for the second time. And I don't know what happened after that because they somehow change stages and end up in a subway. Maharaga comes in and hits him with a gargantuan gut punch. Or so I believe. Because Sukuna actually blocked it, rotates on his arm, and kicks him away. Got his surroundings looking like he traveled back in time. And now it's time for the final phase of the fight. So Maharaga comes out the rubble, picks up a piece of the tower, and throws it at Sukuna. 
who's just sitting there moving like he's in the edit. And I'm not gonna lie, whoever's the cameraman that's recording him so he's up on the big screen, that gotta be some type of glazing. There's no way you're out there getting the right angles of bro when the environment is a threat to your life. After causing a hail of rocks to the city, he gets- Hey man, the cameraman's universal. Bro can survive anything, apparently. So I mean, hey. And starts bowing, admiring his own work. So Blaze is crazy, I'ma need you to get over Relax. yourself. Keep this up and I'ma have to intervene. The next scene, we see him somehow crash into a plane and then Tsukuna throws him away. Then he takes a plane wing and hits him with it. And it sends him sonic barreling all the way into the pool. In the Man, pool? Hold up, bro. What type of dangerous ass pool is this? Maharaga's like 9 foot some. So this pool Why must be like pool 50 so feet big? He gets the ring Who's here? at him with perfect aim. And that's how you know it's really time to wrap up this fight. A plane wing and a radio Yo, who, tower who back to back pool? is insane work. Don't even bother swimming back up. I know a sensei that's an expert at it. He takes all the water, dissipates it, and they just go back to fighting, which is throwing random shit at each other. Maharaga throws a giant ass pillar, and Sukuna's just cutting through all of it. Raga really thought it was his chance to sneak up on him, but Sukuna was prepared, helps the finger on him, and sends him back down, which gave him enough space to hit him with the finisher. You see this big ass grin, the red background, and he's starting to clasp his hands. Maharaga's out there trying to oh, stop yeah, him, but he's already it's moving over. in slow motion, so you know it's over. Sukuna went it's into over. his bag, takes out the flame arrow, and he just started bombs his the kitchen. whole place. He cooked which allows him to defeat Maharaga and win the fight. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for 466k. We moving. Hey man, Maharaga got cooked. That's a, that's my message. He got cooked. Um. Don't be Maharaga. Sukuna cooked him. I mean, <laughs> he got cooked, fried, cut, and all.